Hey, Todd's back. He's catching up. Yeah. Hey, where? Dude, yeah, we, again, what is going on? Oh, that's okay. Something weird's happening. This is right like now. the third time, because you were off Thursday, Friday, yeah. right? But I, if I recall correctly, like Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. we were identical. Like, I know. Like almost twins. One very, well, no, not twins, like brothers, but one very, very much younger than the other. I don't know. You can, could you figure out who was the younger one? We, I mean, we looked similar, but. Let's go to the left. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was your four-day weekend? Go to the weather. I was just, I'm serious. How was your four-day weekend? Was it all right? <laughs> He's not talking about that. <laughs> uh, remnants of Ophelia spinning to our south, dropping sizable amounts of rain in southern New England, central, southern tier of New York, mid-Atlantic still getting wet. We saw an occasional shower here in Maine over the weekend, but in general, it was dry. It just wasn't all that sunny, obviously. And that's kind of how we're waking up this morning. Clouds southern half of the state, mostly clear to the north and occasionally a sprinkle. That's the worst we're going to see, though, as that system kind of slowly works its way south and then out of the northeast, too. There is some patchy fog, especially where it's chilled off up north. Light fog in Augusta and Berlin, New Hampshire is down below a mile. It's only 47 degrees there. Freiburg's 48. Probably see a little bit of fog in the Saco Valley. Holton and Caribou are also in the 40s along with Millinocket and the rest in the low to mid 50s this morning. So nothing out of the ordinary at all. There is the low. It's going to be creeping east over the next couple of days. This one also will creep east over the next couple of days. However, this high is going to be so strong and slowly work its way south, parking itself right over the northeast all week long. So that'll keep us out of the rain. It'll keep us on the coolish side to start here. But I see at least seasonable temperatures and they may even go up a little bit towards the end of the week with lots of sunshine over the next five, six, seven days. We do have some high clouds this morning, varying amounts of them. So the sky will look filtered. The sun will be filtered and in some places, coastline and south, very much so. Up north, you'll get more bright sky there. We'll have patchy fog along with a few of those sprinkles. But by the middle of the day, a lot of these clouds are thinner. So it's getting even brighter. We'll have seasonable temperatures in the 60s and this afternoon, mostly sunny and rain free dry, although it'll be crisp and chilly because of the breeze. It'll be a little gusty out of the northeast all day long, so that'll add a bit of a chill to the air. It won't feel super, super warm out there, especially this afternoon. All right, we've got that northeast breeze right there, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here are your highs right around 68. Bangor, Waterville, Augusta, Lewiston, Freiburg maybe is the warm spot at 69. Coastline mid 60s here, Portland 67 and Bar Harbor 65 or 6 degrees. So there's that high, huge high, protecting us all week long, keeping New England dry, rain to our south with these lows going around the periphery of it. So our rain chances are really, really low. And while it'll be cool to start here the next couple of days, our temperatures do creep up at the end of the week. And over the weekend, I see 70 plus. So this is actually pretty good stuff. And this is the next seven days through Sunday evening. Really no rain in the state at all. It's all to our south. So that's some good news. And here's your temp trend in the 60s today, tomorrow and Wednesday. Climbing 70 or higher. Weekend looks great right now. Saturday and Sunday both look awesome. Small crafts are up, seas three to five, winds gusty out of the northeast, water temperature 60. There's that seven day forecast turns sunnier today and it stays sunny most of this week. Tomorrow, Wednesday, a little on the cool and crisp side. There might actually be a little touch of frost here or there, but nothing widespread. Thursday, Friday, temps creep back up over the weekend. We're in the mid 70s away from the coastline and low 70s along it. Wow, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe week. the temperatures are a little cool, but that could be one of the nicer seven day stretches we've had this year. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah, good stuff, especially with the Cumberland County Fair right now. Yeah, and then going Fireburg to the Freiburg this weekend. So that's right. No reasons to not get out there. And no, do the fall ah, stuff. Eat some of that yummy food. All right, thank oh, you, yeah. sir. Appreciate it.